Once you've added appropriate titles to the pictures that you'd like, click the Next button. And this slide allows you to narrate your pictures and customize the motion for your slides. This box here allows you to type in notes to help you remember what you're going to say when you record. In order to type in notes, you highlight the words that are already here and you delete them by pressing the backspace key. You can then type in any notes that are appropriate to help you remember. Now, in order to record, click on the button with the red dot here and record your notes. When you're done recording, click the button with the square here and that will stop the recording. The Spiral Jetty. You can preview your recording by clicking on the preview button below. The Spiral Jetty. If you didn't like your recording, you can redo it by clicking on this button with the backward arrow. You can also change your motion or transitions now by clicking on the Customize Motion button under the picture. This picture shows that the start position and the end position are the same. But if you would like a sort of zoom effect, you can click in this box here that says Specify Start and End Position of Motion. Your pictures will then have little squares around them that sh and when you move your cursor over you have movable arrows. These arrows allow you to adjust the size of your picture and so that you can change the starting and ending position. So for instance, if I would like it to s my picture to start right here showing just the words, I can then have my position end with a large position by having a perimeter go all the way around my picture. The duration area below shows how long you want your slide to be visible. Automatically means that the slide will sense when to change or you can set the slide to a specific amount of time by highlighting within the button and then moving the second arrows up and down. Make sure to save any changes before you navigate away. You can now change the transitions by clicking on the transition tab at the top. Here are the transitions that are available. Select the one that you would want by clicking on it to highlight it. You will see a preview of the effect directly above all of the options here. Once you have finished all of your motion and transitions, transitions for this slide, save your work and then you can move on to your next slide by clicking on these arrows here. Here's my new picture. Then follow the same process to modify this slide. When all of your slides are finished, click close and then the next button.